Hi, thank you very much for coming back to watch another video. What this video is, basically I am uh, going to talk about or review a little bit more about the uh, LifeProof free case. Um, if you've seen it before, I've actually done another review. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and uh, make sure you uh, watch that other review. But what this review is, is a, a six-month review some from the last time. So now I've gotten a lot more time to actually use it, uh, abuse it, kind of go through the daily activities a lot more than what I've actually recorded on the previous video and tell you what I've, I've liked and I don't like it so far. Um, I do have to say, if you remember from the first video, I had a white one. Uh, now I have a black one. And it's not by choice, but simply because this is my third um, this is my third life-proof case. And I say third because in the past six months, I've had two of them actually mess up on me and mess up not too bad. But what happens is, and for some strange reason, it happened on the both life-proof cases that I've had previous to this one. Uh, if you kind of get a closer shot right here, and I should have recorded the actual uh, issue that I had, but right here in this corner on the previous two cases, this plastic, this rubber part, the rubber guard here, kind of pops up and allows the plastic shield, this that you touch and feel, actually comes up over the, the rubber, therefore creating a gap where you can actually, water will seep through and, you know, the whole life proof thing is, is irrelevant after that. So uh, the first time it happened, it happened probably about three months into me using the life proof case. And uh, I immediately emailed LifeProof on their uh, website, went on there, contacted them and said, hey, you know, I've got this issue. I took some pictures. I sent them the pictures and let them know what was going on. And, uh, well, cricket, cricket, nothing. No email response back saying, hey, we're sorry. Uh, hey, that's not part of our warranty. Hey, thank you for using it. Uh, go buy another one. Nothing. So I was pretty a little bit irritated with uh, LifeProof itself because I actually like this product, but uh, I, I was pretty upset that I, I got no response. So um, I was about to go uh, buy another one, and it just because I like it. So um, I went to back to Best Buy where I bought it, and I actually was able to return it. Best Buy honored me. They just looked at it. They saw the issues. The lady's like, "Yeah, you know what? We've had a few of them come back with that same." Uh, corner uh, flap up <coughs> and it's an issue that they've been having so obviously LifeProof probably already knows about this and they're trying to correct it so I'm hoping that they go ahead and fix the issue but they were able to they just gave me another one I returned the one I, I got and I've got another brand new one I used that one for about two months and uh, well maybe a little bit more than that but I just picked up the third uh, LifeProof case uh, within the past week from today. And, uh, you know, we're already in June. So it's like, it's a little frustrating that I have to go get another one. The only reason I'm not so upset and, and emailing like crazy LifeProof is because Best Buy went ahead and I took it back. Oh, yeah, it's broke. All right, bring it. Give me another one and exchanged it. Uh, they made it real, real easy for me, and, and I'm glad. So thank you, Best Buy, if you're watching, if you're listening. So I appreciate that. Um, but other than that, I've had no issues with it. I've dropped it in water, and had it, not a speck of water, not a anything went into the case when the case was working properly and not flapped up because obviously I got rid of it right away when the little thing came up. I didn't want to risk it. <clears throat> But uh, some of the things that I have found that are kind of uh, irritating and, uh, you know, I wish LifeProof would have contacted me so I could give them some issues that I'm, I'm having. One of the things is this little dongle. And, yeah, you've got to have it in there in order for you to have a completely waterproof case. I understand that. But some of the issues with this little dongle itself is, as you can see, mine is missing the little, uh, the little thing that, was, that goes on here which looks like this. This is the, the, the screw keeper. You can, once you unscrew the little screw that goes on there, you put it in this little, uh, you put it right in here, right? 
so it, you don't so it doesn't get lost, right? So that's the whole theory behind that. You put it in there and and you're good. So once you're done using headphones, you unscrew it, take this little screw cap back on, put it back in your uh, your life proof case, and you know you don't because you're not using the the headphones. Well, I have been using headphones a lot. The issue with that is when you're using headphones and you're out and about doing things, this thing can get caught and pops right off, and you can lose it. One of the most irritating things is to lose this little screw, and I've lost it already. If you lose this screw, this life-proof case is is null and void. You don't need it anymore. I mean, it's it's gonna there's water goes right in through it. So one of the things that iPhone or uh, life-proof should do is add a few extra of these, not just one or two. You know, they do they do give you an extra one, but they need a little bit more than that because these things get lost, or they need to sell them you know, in, in little packages because it's very irritating. Once you lose this and you got that hole there, the only thing you're you're really protecting it is from, from you know, maybe not even dust because dust can get in there, a lot of debris and everything. So you're really just from the dropping it. Um, so again, I I like the case overall the whole time. I'm irritated that it's, that it's broke on me twice. Not so upset because... Again, I didn't have to pay for some new ones. Best Buy would just re, uh, exchange them for me. Um, so irritating things, this dongle. Now, if you lose this dongle too, you're not going to be able to use the headphones. If you unscrew this and you lose the dongle, because I've done it, I have in the past six months, I lost one and I had to go on eBay and, and, and buy a dongle in order for me to use it with my headphones you won't be able to use it with headphones. So that is pretty irritating. Once you lose it, that's it, you're done. So maybe they need to come up with this little replacement package where they have a few extra dongles uh, and a few extra little uh, caps that you can, in case people do lose them. Because I know some of you guys out there that have already bought them have actually lost them. I know you have, because I have too. Um, so that's a good thing. The thing that I did see though is this really cool um, case, or not case, but a clip. It's it's made for the for this particular uh, life proof case, and you know I don't I don't I mean I finally like the case. It didn't come with any kind of clip, but I I went ahead and picked it up for thirty bucks at Best Buy um, when I got the replacement case. And the only thing that I don't like about this so far is that you got they give you when you get it out of the box you have this you have the uh, the clip, which is about two inches long, and you also have a another clip that's about an inch and a half long. But you have to assemble it. When you assemble it, in the instructions is, if you want the two inch, put the two inch on, and you can't you can't remove it. So I if I like this two inch, and I'm like you know what after a while I'm like ah it's it's just too big. I need the the one inch one and a half inch clip. I want to change it. I can't. Because once you mount it on there, it's permanently mounted on there. You can't disassemble it and put another clip on it. Why would they do that? They're going to give you two clips, but then they only give you, allow you to use one. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, they made, you know, come on. Are you serious? You're going to tease me with two clips, but then you only let me use one? Hello? But anyway, that was a little irritating after I got it home and, and assembled it and read the instructions. But... It does work, it's good, it, it clips, uh, it, it functions, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, so that's really all the, uh, the things I've got to add to the other video that I made now that I've used it. A little irritated, but um, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm still using it. I mean, some of you guys are probably thinking like, why do you still use it if it already broke any ties? Only because Best Buy keeps giving me another one. When Best Buy keeps stops giving me another one after they break, I'm done with LifeProof, unless LifeProof can come up with a better product. Oh, and one more thing. I remember the first one when when I would get on uh, on the, and I would come up here and try to, you know, you, you scroll up and down and you come up here. It seems that they've redone these. It's a lot better function as far as touching all around. It's no longer as sensitive. So this case is no longer the the screen on top doesn't feel like it's like this anymore it feels a little flatter all the way around so that's some improvement that I like 
Um, so you can actually drop down the menu when you want. You can touch apps that are all on the sides. You can touch the sides and actually touch the side versus trying to touch the side and tap it really, really hard. Now it's just a matter of touching it just like if it didn't have a screen. So that's an upgrade. I don't know what they've done, but the particular one that I did the review on uh, when I first started did give me issues. I haven't had that same issue anymore. just thought I'd throw that out there. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll get you some more, uh, some more reviews, actual reviews, reviews, not show you how to open the box and tell you what's in the box, even though those are kind of fun to some people. So uh, thanks again. Have a great day.